Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. I'm an astrologer as well as tarot reader. We're getting ready to do a love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so coming into the reading in the recent past, uh, your lover came forth with a beautiful offer flowers, you know, plans for the future. Let's have a beautiful dinner together. You've had a very romantic time, but when we have the Knight of Cups coming in with flowers, they symbolize an offering of love. The current energy between the two of you right now is the Queen of Swords. So we have the Death card here. We have the Six of Swords here. We have the Moon here. So when we look at the overall reading, we're looking at the fact that both of you are in this energy of figuring out if you're going to be suitable together for a long-term commitment. Now we have the Queen of Swords energy that is balancing things out. It's Libra energy. It's being willing to sacrifice anything in your life that doesn't serve you. And in this instance, both of you are in this energy of, you know, needing to make this relationship work. And if it doesn't work, you know, having the willingness to, to let spirit have its say. So when we look at the death card down here in terms of the message from spirit, we're really seeing that spirit says you have to rebirth, reform, renew, review, uh, redo your relationship in some aspects for it to move forward. We have this beautiful King of Swords energy, which is your partner, Taurus. This energy is one of a person who is listening very carefully. They're staying very, um, you know, your partner, Taurus, is staying very unemotional. They're listening to the facts. They're hearing the case. This is more like the surgeon card. So when we have swords, you know, we have swords on, on in the hands of both people. So both of you are really willing to cut away the relationship if you really can't move out of troubled waters. I love the fact that this is the queen and king of swords. I love the fact that this is Aquarius energy. It's enlightenment. It's balance. It's being rational in terms of progress problem solving. Your person views you, Taurus, as the hanged man. This is Pisces energy. They feel as though you're holding back or you're trying to really come to some conclusions about the relationship. You're looking for spiritual answers. You know, you're not saying anything. You're just trying to sort of gather your your sort of get your head on your shoulders, you know, getting into this Libra energy. So your person right now has no idea what your plans are. They feel as though you, you don't even know what your plans are at this time. Your person in their heart space has this beautiful strength card. The infinity symbol is tattooed on the arm of, uh, of the strength card. And this is typically the lion walking next to the feminine and protecting her and your person feels very much that they have something to prove to you in your relationship, in your heart space. They definitely feel as though they have to be the guiding light, the answer, the solution. They have to protect you so that you don't feel so sort of vulnerable here because we see a lot of vulnerability here in this reading. So your person feels as though they like they need mastery, they need to take control. This person has a lot of pride, as you know. They are, you know, this is very fixed energy. They're very set on success. This person wants success at all cost. And what we see here is that, you know, we have Aquarius, we have Leo, we have Leo, we have Aquarius. And when we get those signs, those are fixed signs. So your person is really in this sort of interesting triangulation, then some, of trying to problem solve. The way they view the situation with you, Taurus, is that they have to move both of you out of these troubled waters. But they especially see that you, Taurus, need to move forward. You you have a lot of you have a lot of doubts about them, and they understand that they need to prove themselves to you. 
When we look at the mutual energy, and we are going to clarify all these cards, but when we look at the mutual energy of the moon, we get that both of you feel underwater, that both of you feel as though you don't know. This is very Piscean energy. You know, again, there there's probably a lot of um, fire sign, air sign energy at least in the transits, even if you don't have it in your charts. But the Pisces moon says that you both are looking for answers. You both feel like you're underwater. You know, we have Pisces here. You're, you know, especially you, Taurus, feel as though, you know, you can hang upside down and get a headache, quite literally. So the moon card says that both of you need to, you feel submerged. You feel like you're drowning in this relationship. And Taurus is uh, the spirit is saying yes you are that you could drown in this relationship this could really go down you this relationship has a tremendous ability to not survive because the death card says and unless there's radical change uh, that you will not, you know, that it's better not to continue the relationship, that it would be a better choice to use your intellect to move forward alone if you can't make the choice. You can move forward together, though, quite beautifully, if you're willing to address the very deep-seated problems. This is Scorpio energy. So there are problems that have to do with sharing, sharing resources, uh, that, you know, one or both of you may not really be what's perceived as a team player. You know, when we get the Scorpio energy is about sharing resources. It is, it feels like a life or death battle. You know, it's, it's, you really love each other. That's very clear in this reading. But what we see is that when we look at the death and rebirth card, the quickest way for me to explain that is ripping out the old kitchen and putting in a new one. It is a dramatic shift. It's a dramatic change, and it really requires creativity. And here we have the outcome card, which is fifth house of creativity, the king of wands. This is Leo energy, Leo energy. So your person right now is really trying to come up with solutions that may even include, because we have the moon and because we have the six of swords, that your person sees that one solution would be moving, quite literally, to a different at home which is the moon and what's happening right here is that you're in this standoff situation of not knowing Taurus whether you're going to go along with this because the king of swords is in it to win it but the mutual energy is also that it has to be agreed upon so let's take a look at this energy for you Taurus get the clarifying energy here for the reading and let's see what we have so when we get the the knight of cups energy in the recent past it's throwing caution to the wind so whatever this person has proposed to you Taurus you have thrown caution to the winds you're in the process you've already traveled perhaps to a new location um, but you're really still feeling underwater you know this is, this is trying to find answers and yet feeling as though there are no clear answers. Why is the Libra Queen here? What is it that you need to cut out of your life if this doesn't work? The idea of being together, it quite literally means that if you can't work out the feelings of security, if you don't renovate the relationship, and this remains to be murky and, and feel risky to the to you Taurus uh, that you know that what needs to be cut away actually is this two of cups energy the relationship itself the idea that you're going to be together the soulmate card of the minor arcana what do we have here for the king of swords energy for you Taurus what do we have for Taurus? Yep, here, Seven of Swords. Your person is doing reconnaissance. They are strategizing. They are trying to find a way out of a situation that they caused. Your person feels as though, and you feel as though, they've never been really forthcoming with you. This is a card of lying and deception in its worst incarnation. But it's also the card that says that this person grew up with secrets, feeling as though being very cagey was a smart option. But they're finding that, like a surgeon, they need to cut 
cut this out of their life. They need to stop this energy because it's putting you in this murky energy. So when we look at the Seven of Swords, you know, we get the Aquarius energy. Again, double Aquarius energy, triple Aquarius energy. So with the transits this week, I mean, tomorrow we have the full moon in Leo. I feel as though a decision will be made or is on the precipice in the next, you know, 30 days of being made about your relationship. And so we see this person strategizing now how to try to, how to rebuild, really. That's what I'm seeing. So let's see where you're at here. Yep, you're in this feeling. You really, really feel devastated about some of the secrecy you do. You feel like this is your soulmate. You've tried to tell this person what you need, and it has fallen on deaf ears. So we see you feeling like Nine of Swords. Can this get better? If it doesn't get better, you're not really quite ready to be on your own. So you do feel a very strong sense of sense of vulnerability here. The Nine of Swords is you also having remorse and regret about things that you've said that have you know put this relationship sort of in question for both of you. The Nine of Cups. Now your person, oh boy, look at this. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Okay, so we have your person feeling super happy. Your person feels they know that, that they want to be with you. You are the person who has made them happiest in their entire life. But the Moon card indicates that this person is very accustomed to living in a, in a world where feminine energy feels dangerous, feminine energy can't be counted on, and they brought this into the relationship with you. And that's what needs to be renovated. Okay? So let's look and see, because this person is accustomed. This is the way they operate. These cards are negative. They, they put you in this energy. They make you worry and hold back and not want to give yourself fully. All right. So your person sees that if they don't fix this, that, that they view the situation with you as being hopeless, that, you know, one of you will literally move away from the other, that there will be no question that, you know, either they walk away or you, uh, the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, they're really feeling as though they have to solve the problem. That, And it's interesting because they're still trying to solve the problem without really having a discussion about what's going on underneath the, the surface, you know. It's like saying, yeah, let's redo the kitchen and the foundation on the house is, you know, questionable. All right, so this is good news. So your person looks like they could be taking a job in a different place. They do want you to go with them because of the moving card, but they will go alone if they have to. There also might be a situation in which one person will precede the other in a relocation. What I'm seeing here is a mutual energy between the two of you is very constructive. Right now, this is Virgo energy. Virgo is sixth house, solve problems, make it clear. It's the opposite of Pisces. It's getting rid of this energy in a very practical way, ways that you can really count on. So it's very important. Look at what we have here. We have the Knight of Cups twice. The Knight of Cups is your partner offering you a chance to throw caution to the winds, to rebuild with them because Virgo energy is always a builder. That's about being very substantial, very grounded in the relationship. Here we also have that your person is saying, I really love you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to step up my energy. And what do we have? Oh, look at the outcome card. Beautiful energy. The outcome card is a lover's card, which has a double meaning. It is a soulmate card, but it does look as though the two of you will choose 
to step into this energy. I have shivers right now. This energy of clarity, of passion. This is Gemini energy. So now we have this beautiful, the Aquarian energy using the intellect, using this very fixed, uh, very strong energy of problem solving in a progressive way that's fair to everybody. We have Libra balance, you know, really being mindful of what's fair to both of you, really thinking about the possibility of marriage because the Libra Queen, it rules the seventh house of marriage, you know? And so now your outcome card, your person is able to take this leadership role with this Leo full moon and allow both of you to rebuild your relationship and get back to the absolute passion the two of you had. The the. When we have the lover's card, it is making a choice, making a choice to follow spirit's advice, starting over, starting possibly in a new place, but absolutely addressing the issues that have gone on in this relationship. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.